I've been here at the VMworld show representing our corporation today and the rest of this week or the last week we're here. And uh, I was going to come over here and talk a little bit about hyperconvergence and the hyperconverged industry. Um, it's kind of a new technology that's been bubbling or percolating through the ecosystem over the last few years. Um, most people, when I speak about hyperconvergence, have no idea what it is. So I'll give you a quick little primer here today. Um, thanks to all my good friends over at the V Brown Bag crew. Um, real quick, to follow me on Twitter. My name is uh, Bacon is King. So if you didn't already know, right? All right, so let's talk a little bit about the ecosystem right now. Um, traditionally, most of you who have worked within IT for the last 10 to 15 years have probably worked with a, some form of semi-converged infrastructure where you, you've gone out and bought a switch, you've bought an, uh, you know, a switch from one vendor, a server from one vendor, a storage array from one vendor, and all these other disparate parts in the, uh, with inside your data center. And you've used those and somehow gotten them all cobbled together and to work together. It's a pretty heavy lift. Uh, there's a lot of... Um, there's nothing in that stack of technologies that has been represented or designed to work together. And so that's why we see that things are, uh, camera, uh, semi-converged, right? So that's the, the first type of convergence we see. It's not really a, a, a true converged play, but it's, it's we've gone in there and done the best we can to take a bunch of technologies and push them all together. So the, the OEMs saw that that market was very inefficient, and so most of them went out and what did they do? They went out and they bought a switch company, they bought a storage company. So if you're if you're IBM, if you're Dell, if you're uh, you know uh, any of those major or HP, those major organizations, you have everything in that stack that you can sell to your customer, and we call it a convergence. So it's going to be you know the the HP branded switch, the HP branded storage, the HP branded servers, and the other you know tools to automate or use those workloads and deploy them in your organization, and maybe they put a nice box or a nice lo logo on top of it, and in that way it's you know it's a, a turnkey or somewhat turnkey solution that you can provide to a customer, right? So. That's for usually for the you know the, the vast swath of IT, but then we start to get into something like a super converged infrastructure, and so that's uh, you know, the, you know like a V block or something of that nature where it's a, a highly uh, dialed down, locked down platform that has a, the ability to run a lot of disparate workloads and a lot of different stuff. So, you know, those are all great solutions, and most of you probably been using them for you know the vast majority of your IT career. What we're seeing now, though, is what we're calling hyperconversion. What we're taking is that entire stack or the entire stack of those technologies, the functionality of those technologies, and put it into a much smaller atomic building block and then scaling them out as resources were needed for the end users. So it was a much more turnkey type of solution that basically you could take like a Lego. Um, you know, I need um, all, all that technology functionality, put it in one box and just you know, build them up and build them up as I need more and more users and more and more capacity and more and more scale. So, talk about that real quick. I pre-drew this out because I'm a really bad drawer. Um, I'm an even worse speller. So if we look at your legacy stack today, so you probably have a server, you have a storage switch, you have a storage array, you're going to have some kind of backup disk appliance or a VTL or a deduplication array. You're going to have some form of WAN optimization between your production site and your DR site and possibly even a cloud gateway or a, you know, flat, a caching uh, system. If you look at that, each one of these pieces of technology has its own um, power cooling cabling requirements. Um, it has its own you know, management console. It has its own you know, series of books and training that you need to get uh, spun up on in order to utilize. So when, if it's just one technology that you're only focused on, that's probably not such a heavy, you know, heavy thing for you to do. But if you have to focus on all of these at once, I mean, that's probably about 5,000 pages of documentation if you try to, to get a solution and understand how the underlying technologies in each one of those pieces of the stack work. So what hyperconvergence does is it takes this functionality, and some, some organizations in the hyperconverged infrastructure today can do all this, some can't, some do bits and pieces of it, but what it does is it focuses on taking this entire stack of inefficiency is the way I look at it, and consolidating it, shrinking down into a smaller building block. So you have all of your storage, your compute, your virtualization already on here. It shows up at your doorstep, you plug it in, you give it some IPs, and you're off to the races, at least when you're in VMware environments, right? So that's really essentially what hyperconvergence is. It's taking that traditional stack of technologies, 
consolidating it, bringing it down, and providing it to the end user to utilize. And if they do it right, they can do a lot of really interesting stuff, like single pane of management for all of your resources for multiple occasions globally. Or you know, they have something really cool within data management. Perhaps they can do you know deduplication, compression, and optimization of data in the path, you know, once and forever. And and, and then you can basically at that point. Um, facilitate DR and, and virtual machine migrations and all kinds of really cool stuff that we've never really been able to do in the past um, because it just hasn't been really capable because we've not been able to go out and really say I have a system here and a system here and you know if I had if you know if I was lucky maybe I had uh, you know two of the same storage arrays and I could replicate you know large LUNs of data back and forth between places but when you start working in the data management path where you know you have a deduplication that's global, well then you don't have to send so much data back and forth. And like I said, these smaller building blocks are easier to deploy and easier to manage for end users and customers who want to go out and quickly deploy their virtualized infrastructure. So really, you know, basically, you know, we kind of look at there's a kind of like five key features of hyperconvergence that we would want to focus on. So I've talked about efficient data management, um, and of course there's the infrastructure convergence. But it also has to be able to scale because if I can only go so far or so wide uh, horizontally, then um, you know it's not going to be a good solution for the true enterprise. It might work okay for the SMB. But also, I think a lot of these technologies have to have some kind of VM centricity. They'll be able to work at the VM or the app layer or app level, so that if I do some kind of data protection, that it applies to just one piece that I want, that one specific virtual machine or that app uh, or that group of virtual machines, and it doesn't have to grab all that extraneous data as well. Last part we really want to see with inside a hyperconverged infrastructure is a global management. You want to be able to have global management of all of your you know, your systems regardless of where they're at. I mean, if I have a, a data center in, in Timbuktu and one in uh, Chicago, I want to be able to manage those from any place, from, usually from one kind of pane of management or pane of glass management. So that's, uh, I don't know if that's my time or not, but uh, I've been talking for like uh, 400 hours this week at VMworld, so it's been pretty awesome. And I uh, really want to thank the, the crew at V Brown Bag for giving me the opportunity to come up here and just talk generally about the, the infrastructure. So, you know, there's a lot of technology companies out there in the hyperconverged space. If you just let me Google that for you, you know, you'll, you'll start seeing them all pop up. Of course, I work for a company that works inside that group as well called Simplivity. But, um, you know, there's other solutions out there as well. So you'd be, uh, it'd behoove you to go out there and take a look at them, all right? So thank you, guys. Have a good VMworld.